The Story of Humans Charles Darwin, who gave the most accepted explanation for describing the mechanism of organic evolution in the form of his theory of natural selection, proposed in 1859. Charles Darwin, who suggested that human beings evolved from monkeys. Darwin published a book in 1871 called The Descent of Man, in which he noticed the similarities between man and apes. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any video from my channel. Enlarged brain, especially the cerebral hemisphere, only two mammary glands to nourish the young ones, typically and generally only one offspring in each pregnancy. The tracing of human ancestors was initially based only on comparative study of living examples of primates. The most reliable and direct evidence for evolution comes from the study of fossils. About 15 million years ago, the ancestors of apes and human probably evolved along separate lines. Modern apes like orangutan, gorilla, and human ancestors are presumed to have evolved from Dryopithecus. In the course of further evolution, human types developed stronger and straighter legs with feet suited more for walking. Their upright posture was the result of evolutionary changes in the pelvic gaiters and associated muscles. These changes, which appear to have occurred about 14 to 15 million years ago, resulted in the arrival of an upright pre-human. This form of pre-human has been called Zinzanthropus. Ramapithecus Ramapithecus is considered as the true ancestor of modern man. However, Ramapithecus is presumed to have had a wider distribution in both Australia and Africa. About 5 million years ago, a descendant of Ramapithecus appeared in the drier regions of eastern and southern Africa. It has been named as Australopithecus. These forms are considered as first humans. The Australopithecus gradually evolved into more distinctly human-like forms that have been now placed in the genus Homo. The oldest known fossil skull of this genus dates back to about 2.5 million years and this form has been called Homo habilis. Homo habilis evolved into a more modern form called Homo erectus about 1.5 million years ago. Some forms of this group are described by the names Java Man and Peking Man. In 1924, a group of Canadian biologists discovered the fossils of a similar group in Peking in China. This led to the discovery of Peking Man. Fossils suggested that Peking Man was using fire. About 2,50,000 years ago, the species Homo erectus was replaced by Homo sapiens, the species to which the modern man belongs. The earliest form of Homo sapiens is commonly known as the name Nindarthal. The Nindarthal man is said to have disappeared about 50,000 years ago during the last glaciation. Now, Nindarthals were replaced by a group of early men known as Cro-Magnon men. Their first fossil was discovered in a cave in a place called Cro-Magnon. The Cro-Magnon man is presumed to have lived about 30,000 years ago, around the end of the Ice Age. 
modern man is not very much different from Cro-Magnon man in terms of biological evolution. What sets them apart is the only cultural evolution. Culturally, modern man is more advanced. He is capable of thinking, memorizing, speaking, reading and writing. Human races Broadly, the following five races have been identified. First one is coxoid, which is generally characterized by light skin. Second is mongolites, which is characterized by yellowish or reddish skin. Third is congoids, which is characterized by black skin. Fourth is capoids, which is characteristic by black or brown skin. Fifth is astrolites which is characterized by brown skin, curly hair and deep eye sockets. The human races do not exhibit much differences genetically from one another. The races are able to breed among themselves, producing fertile offspring. These races are mainly social categories by which persons can be identified from each other. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon, so you never miss any video from my channel.